Hey, my curly friends, I hope we are staying safe and healthy during these times. I know it's been like a roller coaster of emotions over the last couple of weeks for me, and I've had a lot of videos that I wanted to post and share with you all, at least a month's worth, but right now the time didn't feel right. A lot of people have lost their jobs, people are sick, and the topics that I've created already, I didn't think they made sense for the time. Of course, it's all going to be dependent on what you guys want. If you want to see those videos still, I'll be happy to post them, but I really want to hear from you all first. Okay, so now that we've covered all that, let's talk about the curly hair activities you can do when you're stuck at home. These are perfect if you and your family are healthy and you have the resources, but don't stress about getting anything. Just use what you got in your house. It's not that serious. I want you all to know that I value your health, so take care of yourself first. And if this is something that you can do, then do it. The first curly hair activity you can do at home is deep conditioning. If you're like me, I've got two kids at home. You know, I don't always have time to do a 30 minute deep conditioner if that's what the directions say. Sometimes I can get like five minutes in, sometimes I can get like 10. This is a good time to start your deep conditioning treatments and being consistent about it. Like if it says you can deep condition one to two times per week, then maybe you can go ahead and try for two days per week. But having the luxury of time is what's important here. So find your favorite deep conditioner. And if you don't have one and you didn't prepare for this, you don't wanna go out to the store, just use whatever conditioner you have at home and leave it on a little bit longer. The second curly hair activity you can do is a hot oil treatment. I have already created a whole video on how to do a hot oil treatment on fine curly hair so if you want to see that video go ahead and look down below in the description box I'll link it down below in there next on the list is educating yourself on curly hair there are tons of curly hair books there are curly hair magazines there are articles on tons of blogs and websites for curly hair you can even check out my blog if you like I have a lot of tips on there discocurls.com go ahead and check that out I have articles I've written on naturallycurly.com there are tons of resources I'll be sure to link them down below so that you have tons of opportunities to learn more about your hair if you have a Netflix account, this is a time to check out Self Made, which is inspired by the life of Madam C.J. Walker. If you don't know who Madam C.J. Walker is, she is an African-American woman who started a beauty empire with natural hair products, and she came from poverty and became, I believe, the first female self-made millionaire. It sounds super inspiring. I can't wait to watch it myself. I know I used to try uh, the Madam C.J. Walker products when they came out here um, at Sephora. So I'm really excited to just like learn more about her whole story. That's just one example of something you could watch right now, but there are tons of movies, documentaries, um, TV series that you can watch to be inspired to get ideas for your hair. So definitely check down below in the description box. I'm going to list as many films, documentaries, and television shows you can watch to get inspired by curly hairstyles or just learn something new. Next on the list is to be diligent about your scalp massages and your nighttime routine. I know it can be really difficult to stay on track with certain things like remembering to do your scalp massages or put on your bonnet. I know I still kind of struggle sometimes, um, but this is the time to try this out and try to stay consistent. Like if you are going to bed maybe more at a consistent time because you have a little more free time, then really focus on massaging your scalp. If you, you know, if you can't get oils right now or you don't have any, just the stimulation using your finger pads massaging your scalp is going to help circulate the blood there um, and help promote growth it's not going to guarantee you're going to have tons of like long lustrous growth but it's something that's going to help stimulate and you know get that blood circulation going if you don't have a bonnet this is a nice fancy bonnet that i just got um, earlier this year but just using some sort of like satin silk scarf if you have it at home really will help protect your curls at night all the friction on a rough pillowcase can cause you know, more frizz and possibly some more breakage. So this is a good time to just focus on your nighttime routine. Next on the list is cleaning your hair tools. Right now, cleanliness is like <laughs> high on my agenda and it goes for everything in my house, especially like myself and my kids and our hands, like, and just everything has to be clean. I'm definitely focusing on like things I don't think about like, oh, I should probably clean these because I'm always like combing my hair and then, you know, 
putting down the comb and then I forget. So um, I just think it's essential. So basically what I do is I'll get a little plastic bowl or a big plastic bowl of hot soapy water and I just use regular dish soap and I'll soak all of my non-porous um, hair tools in there, give them a good scrub, rinse them off, let them air dry. If you have the luxury of having alcohol in these times, then you can also spritz them down and clean them. But I think at the very minimum, using soap and water is going to help remove the majority of any of the dirt and grime that's on them. Things like your blow dryer, you know, you can do a lot of spot cleaning um, with soap and water as well. Just make sure that it's not wet, not plugged in, of course. You want to make sure you're not doing anything that's going to risk your life. Just make sure you wipe it down really well with like a soap and water solution and dry it off. And like I said, if you have extra alcohol around, it'll be helpful to spritz it down and sanitize it. Next on my list is trying out new hairstyles or protective styles. Is there a hairstyle that you really wanted to try but you were afraid of a fail and didn't have time? Now's the time, girl. Go ahead, try that French braid, try those Bantu knots, try whatever you like. You ain't going anywhere. This is also the perfect time to start transitioning. Hello, if you're not going anywhere, there's no need to use the hot tools. You can go heat free for a little while. Let's just enjoy that process. I'm not gonna quote anything because I, I feel like the news changes every five minutes at this point. But let me just tell you, if you have a couple weeks possibly a month, maybe now's the time to just like lay off the hot tools and focus on transitioning and not worrying about, you know, if my hair looks straight today. If you're gonna be stuck at home, just let it be, let it happen. Transitioning does take a really long time, so it's not something that's gonna be complete in a couple of weeks, but it's a good time to just kind of test out like things you can do while you're transitioning. Okay, these products work for my hair, while I'm transitioning. Okay, these styles are good. Oh, okay, now I understand how to do a finger coil to blend in these straight pieces with my curly pieces. Get what I'm saying? Next on the list is organizing your curly hair products. Look at this, look at this mess. Okay, products, weave. Actually, these are clip-ins. Combs, flexi rods. I could be organizing all of this. This is the time to go through all of your products, see what works for you, see what doesn't work for you, put it aside the stuff that doesn't work for you. If you have a basket like this, you can totally take out these products and kind of reorganize it, make it look nice and neat. Now, how many of you are familiar with the period after opening symbol? It's something you'll find on a lot of your beauty products. I know on this Briogeo shampoo bottle, it's down here, it's a little tiny jar and it's opened up and then it'll have a number with the M next to it, which stands for months. So this one says 18 months. And basically that means the minute I open this up and break that seal, I have 18 months to use it. After 18 months, or even before 18 months, I'm gonna check my products again. I'm gonna smell them. I'm gonna check the color. I'm gonna check the consistency. And if anything feels off, it's not working anymore, it smells funny, you should stop using it. I mean, I'm not perfect. I've definitely held on to products longer than I should have. I just try not to hold on to them too much longer. Another thing you can do right now is online shop for your hair products, or if you don't have it in your budget to shop for them, you can always online browse. I'm definitely a product junkie, so I do have to contain myself every month. Um, I like to sometimes do just a bunch of online browsing, and I'll go to my favorite website, load up my shopping cart, and usually move <laughs> more than half, usually the majority of it, to the save for later section so that when I can put it in my budget, I move it to the shopping cart. Right now, if you if you just can't get the products you want, it's nice to just kind of look at stuff, see what's out there, see what the reviews are saying about those products. Last on the list is to try to support your small businesses during this time. I know there are a lot of hair care products that you don't find in mass retailers like Target and Ulta and Walmart. Support these brands by going directly to their websites or going on their Etsy shops and helping them out. If you need a few ideas, of brands you can support, I'm gonna list them down below in the description box. And that completes my video on the curly hair activities to do while you're stuck at home. I'm so curious to know how you all are doing and feeling out there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love to hear from you all. Tell me what curly hair activities you are doing at home right now. Also, I'd love to have you tell me what types of videos you'd like to see on this channel during this time period. I've already made a Diva Curl Dupes video for you. I've made a Not Your Mother's Natural Wash and Go using their newer products. I've made that video for you. I've made 
the best leave-in conditioners for fine curly hair, and I've also made the best clarifying shampoos for fine curly hair. I've already created these videos. I'm not sure if you want to see them right now, if you want to see more topics like the one I'm doing today, but definitely let me know down below in the comments so I can either get those videos out next or just kind of continue on the trend that I'm on right now. I am sending you so much love and healing energy right now because I know this world needs it. If you're new to my Fine Curly Crew, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you are properly notified of when I post new content. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.